watch and burn. Hey everyone, so tonight I wanted to discuss uh, Duran Duran's Seven and the Ragged Tiger. I'm gonna hopefully make this video short because I have never loved this record. The cool thing about the, the vinyl copy of this that I have is I have uh, an ad in it from the guys in Duran Duran inviting me, you, or whoever bought this record, there's definitely something in those bushes over there. There's whoever it is that bought the record to uh, come and shop for exclusive Duran Duran merchandise via some mail order thing they had set up, of course, because this was the 80s and the internet wasn't exactly a public thing yet. It's cool too. Hopefully, if I remember, I'll scan that in or take a picture of it and toss it up here somewhere. It is pretty neat because when you're a kid and you see that it's like, well, the guys in the band want you to get involved, that had to be like, holy shit. Next thing you know, I'm pretty much in the band. That's what you're thinking. If I buy a sweater from them, that's it. They're gonna have me along at least to place on some aspect of their next album. So that was cool because like I said, I've got that ad in there and hopefully I remember and I think of taking a picture of it and throwing it up here somewhere because it is really worthwhile. But other than getting that cool little shop at DuranDuran.com thing from them, I don't love this record. The Reflex is on here, New Moon on Monday is on here. But other than those two songs, I don't even like Union of the Snake, really. I found that the rest of this record outside of New Moon on Monday and The Reflex, this record just kind of comes and goes. I know this was sort of like during their like Indiana Jones phase, and a lot of people liked that about this album. This, this album felt more international, but I just don't like this album. I never have. And no matter how many times I listen to tracks like Tiger, Tiger, Shadow on Your Side, or The Seventh Stranger, I just, I just can't get right with this record. I know that uh, the re-release has Secret October on it, and I do like Secret October, but because it was on a re-release and it was more of a B-side, it doesn't really count. The record I've had since I was a kid it doesn't have Secret October on it, so I can't really include that as a reason to like this record. But yeah, I just don't love this record. I never have, and that's why I'm going to keep this short because there's only so many negative things I'm willing to say about a record. I don't want to sit around here and bash things. That's not what this is about. This is about me getting out in the world and having fun. So I am going to go. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for almost three minutes while I discuss Duran Duran's Seven in the Ragged Tiger. I keep hearing noises in the bushes over there. It's starting to freak me out. So I am definitely going to go. Don't forget to do something nice for somebody, and if I die, I've got so many of these uploaded, nobody will know for a really long time anyways. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.